everyone welcome back to my channel today i am starting another yarn review video a yarn stop reviews affordable yarn video because this is an affordable yarn and it's not one of the luxury yarns that i like to use although these days i am more of an affordable yarn girly but anyways i obviously just got out of the shower so enjoy my appearance but I went to Michael's today and just walked around for a while with my dog and picked up some cute little DIY little Halloween plant pots, which was really fun, and I painted those earlier. But I also looked at the yarn because I am preparing for my craft show, and I wanted to see what is out there and get inspired, and I definitely did get inspired by this yarn that I'm about to show you. I am excited about the colors that they had, and it kind of really, like like sparked some inspiration for me because like you, like I have been mentioning, I don't know, you probably haven't seen a lot of the videos that I am doing because they're long form videos, but I keep saying that I wanna do like a throwback collection. And I don't know exactly know what that means, whether I'm gonna be inspired by like throwback colors to like the 70s, 80s, 90s, or if I'm gonna be inspired by my old items that I used to make for my past craft shows, or like a combination of both. But this yarn like fit the bill for me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you. This is new, I guess. I don't know, I haven't seen it. I don't really look at yarn anymore at the stores. I just go and pick up one random skein every once in a while. But I saw this on an end cap at Michael's and it is Loops and Threads. So it's the Michael's brand and it's called multi Marled Acrylic. So it looks like this. And it's like a roving, but this is 100% acrylic. I've used like roving and wool before. I used to use it all the time for my Raya sweater or my Raya scarf, infinity scarf. I use like roving wool for that, but this is 100% acrylic, which is great for like craft shows because people don't like to necessarily hand wash items. Now you do need to lay this flat to dry according to the label, but you can machine wash it in cold. I always just close up my craft shows to hand wash, but if they choose not to, then that's on them. But if I disclose it, then they can't be mad at me, right? My air is about to kick on. I know how much we all love that, but I'll talk a little louder. So I picked up four skeins of this because it was buy one, get one 50% off and it was $7.99 a skein. So I got four different colors. So you'll see that the color I'm using for this video is going to be the mustard one but for purposes of showing you the label this is what it is and they have these multi colors like woven into it and I actually really like the feel of it it's quite nice I'm going to use this for hats now obviously I'm going to try one hat first if I like it I'm going to make the rest if I don't like it I'm going to return the yarn but I figured while I was there so I don't have to keep going back if I did like it I would pick up four skeins of it and I picked up four different colors of the ones that I like the best. So I got this one. This is a bulky weight size five yarn and it is 100% acrylic and you get a whopping 130 yards. So this would be, it's perfect to make a hat for sure. I don't know what style hat I'm gonna make so far, but I did just start casting on with a nine millimeter knitting needle. I think that's what it calls for. Actually, it calls for an eight millimeter knitting needle and a nine millimeter crochet hook, but I never follow that. I just do whatever I feel like. So we are doing a nine millimeter bamboo knitting needle. So like I said, it's this roving type of yarn. It's just a very tight twisted acrylic yarn. Acrylic yarn, as you guys know, is made of plastic. So we will see. I don't think I'm going to put these in the washing machine simply because these are craft show items and I never wash my craft show items. I I don't know anybody that makes knitted, cro or knitting or crochet items that does wash them before a craft show. So unfortunately in this particular yarn reviews video, I will not be blocking the item unless I decide to make a swatch, we'll see, but I'm not putting that kind of pressure on myself. I am just going to knit and see what happens so this should be a relatively short yarn style reviews video which is awesome so you guys can see it real quick if i like it you can go pick yourself some up for the season honestly i think this would make a heck of cute sweater as i'm sitting here thinking about it so we will see what happens if i like it yeah so anyways i'm gonna get to knitting and we'll see what we come up with and I'll let you guys know how I'm enjoying the process and we'll keep it as simple as that. 
Okay guys, it's literally been like two seconds since I filmed that last clip and I finished casting on my stitches and oh, I already really like it. I I was just sitting here and I like was thinking, man, this is a hidden gem. So, I mean, obviously I need to finish knitting with it, but just the bounciness of it has gotten me really excited and finally excited to get into craft show season. So it just takes some good yarn. And again, I am still reviewing it, so I don't know if it's good, but these are the colors I got in addition to the mustard one here, which is this. So yeah, I just really like the way it feels. It's quite soft. Uh, it feels durable whereas if you get like a wool ro ro uh, when you get a wool roving it tends to pill really easily because it's not applied yarn applied yarns are a lot more structured whereas like this type of roving material I don't know if it can be considered roving since it's an acrylic but this type of spin tends to not hold its structure as well but since this is acrylic I think it's going to hold the structure a lot nicer and not pill as easily and again with uh, wool roving yarn when you pull on it it doesn't have any strength so you can break it apart but I'm not getting that vibe here like it's not breaking apart so that's a really good benefit you're kind of getting the nice vibe or aesthetic of the roving yarn but you're not having the delicacy of a roving yarn now when you generally when you knit up a wool roving yarn it does become a little bit more secure because you're putting it in knots basically but yeah i just wanted to mention that as i'm thinking about it so i've done a little bit more knitting obviously and i just wanted to show you guys oh my god i'm so obsessed with this yarn already but i wanted to show you it is like thick and thin well not i wouldn't say like thick and thin it's very consistent mostly but then some of the parts where there's like some color you get a little bit of a thicker bit but it doesn't really affect your gauge all that much i'm noticing but i do want to make a comparison and i think i'm going to make more than one hat for this video because if you look at this one in comparison to the yellow it looks like it's like color in every strand whereas the yellow is more like flex of it and this is more like dual twist it like the green and the colorful yarn or whatever it's called fiber so i think i'm gonna make two hats for this video just to show you a comparison of how the yarns might differ so yeah but so far it's so squishy and it's like soft to the touch but it's not like overly soft where i feel like it's gonna just like start pilling and you can see like it looks a little bit like worn in but that's not necessarily a bad thing but so far, look how pretty it is. It's just a joy to knit with, really, because it's so pretty. But that's all I wanted to say. Hey, so I finished the first hat, and here it is. It's got a nice little, like, slouch. Like, I didn't make it slouchy because I do want these to be, like, pom-pom hats or not. So I thought that this was the perfect length. But, like, look at the texture of it. Uh, it's so nice. Like the gauge I use, like I said, I use it in nine millimeter. I think I'm getting about two and a half to three in stitches per inch. So that is like the gauge range that I was trying to stay in. And it's just really nice. It's not too thick. It's not too thin. It just looks really nice. It's super stretchy. I'm here for it. And I'm going to be honest, I already went back to Michael's and bought a whole bunch more for my craft show prep because I'm into this so I think you guys know how this video is going to turn out but I want to make a couple more colors of the hats and show you guys what they look like in comparison in my last clip I showed you uh one of the other colors where it looks like the yarn is like one strand of the yellow one strand of the multicolored and they're all like that but I think the contrast of the multicolor to the other like main color is a little bit higher in some of the yarns whereas in the yellow one it kind of blends in a little more and I will say it's like a gradient so like you'll go through some of the pinks and then like closer to the top there's some purples and blues and I'll show you that in another clip but this is what we're working with so far again I'm not going to be blocking these products but this will just give you an idea of what it looks like on whenever it's a finished product as you can see I did a double brim so it is double thick here and I've been wearing it for like five minutes now and it's not even the least bit scratchy. So we love that. And I'm going to get to making more because I found this yarn very enjoyable to work with. All right. So here are some of the finished hats. So this is the one that I said like the contrast is a little bit higher on it. And the base color is actually 
a green. Sorry, the lighting is bad. It's getting to that time of year where the sun is going down by the time I get home, but you can kind of get an idea. You can definitely see the contrast is a lot higher than like on this yellow one here or on the purple one that I'm doing. But here is the yellow one, which I think is my favorite. <laughs> Let's see if we can get a good look at the yarn and how it like knits up. I'm really impressed with the yarn. Now it's obviously a commercial yarn that is acrylic, but as you can see, it looks really nice. And in the previous clip, you could see the hat on. It's super comfortable. It's very fun to work with. If I, I think that's my favorite part of this yarn is it's so fun to work with because like look at all the colors in there and it's bouncy as all can be like I wish I could tell you guys how bouncy this is it's so much fun I think you could get away with even going with a bigger knitting needle if you wanted to I like the gauge that I'm getting with the nine millimeter but yeah let me show you my face so I definitely am loving this loops and threads yarn that I found at Michael's it is the only place that you would be able to find it I believe I think loops and threads is exclusive at Michael's so if you're lucky enough to have a Michael's near you I 10 out of 10 recommend grabbing some of this yarn especially for the upcoming fall season it is a bulky weight yarn it's $7.99 a skein if you can get a coupon I always recommend hunting for your coupons. You will have a good time with it, I believe. Now, I haven't sold any of these hats yet. They are top secret as of this moment. So I don't know if other people are going to enjoy the colors or anything, but I personally think the colors are really fun. They're a little bit weird, but they have a pretty nice selection, probably like eight to 10, maybe even 12 different color ranges that I saw. And I just picked out my favorites. But sorry, my air kicked on. Classic. I am giving this yarn stops review a 10 out of 10. Do recommend this one. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it was a little bit shorter and sweeter, but I'm trying to get you all prepared for the upcoming craft show season. And I think that this yarn is a great way to kick it off. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below if you've tried this yarn or if you're planning on trying it after watching this video and subscribe to my channel for more random content. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.